Hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. If you need any sort of grind, he will be the man for you. Domination, Spotlight Sims, My Team Unlimited, and even more. The link to his Twitter will be down below in the description. You, it is good, yo. It's your boy Todd back here with another video. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about 2K's tweet today. Now, it's not just going to be the fact that we are talking about prime time packs. We're going to be talking about it dropping at 4 p.m eastern time so 3 p.m for me what does that mean uh, for the future of pack drops in general in nba 2k22 my team now before we dive into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers so here's the thing guys there's been a lot of talk in the community i can just scroll on my timeline and you guys can see right dbg doesn't want to make it the norm because he likes 11 eastern time now i personally agree with dbg here now the reason i agree that i don't want the packs the pack times to change in the future which they it's not guaranteed that they will is because we're all used to it dropping in the morning it gets the excitement going for people in the morning i feel like it's just what we're all used to so why change it if it, it obviously it's not broke i don't think i still think 2k is making plenty of money so why fix it now for me i don't know if it's going to be a long term thing now the reason i say that is because this is prime time packs now the reason I think that this specific drop might be pushed back till 4 p.m. Eastern time is because it is a prime time pack. So if that's the case, then I think it's a W for 2K. Maybe drop this one later on, 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'm fine with that. But then in general, I, I, I hopefully they keep the content time of 10 the same. Now, part of me thinks that they're going to, considering the tweet was released at 10 a.m., uh, which is the normal time for content for me, 11 Eastern time. So part of me thinks that this is just going to be a one-time deal, right? Where they're just pushing these packs back because they're prime time packs. Now, again, that could just be me hoping and hoping for the best with 2K. But I think if there ever was like a drop name that something would be pushed back for, I think prime time is a good title for the fact that 2K would push it back. That's that's just what I would uh, I kind of think. Now again, it doesn't say anywhere in here about this only being a one-time thing. But you guys can see like DBG says you do realize servers already crashed when you release content, which is yeah, that's true. Okay, that is very very true that the servers are gonna crash. So I get okay. Let's say 2K does change it to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Why would 2K change their, the time of content? Well, I guess my thing is they could change it because people get off work at, you know, for after a Friday, let's say it's for Fridays, and they're just ready to relax. And that's when the new fresh content is out. But it's still going to be new and fresh, even if it drops at 10 p.m. and people are still going to get off work and have that same content. I just, I have a hard time for me thinking that this is a great idea for 2K if they do change it. Now, again, I'm not against anything. You guys know me. I'm open to basically every single idea. But for me, the, the biggest reason and the biggest uh, kind of problem I do have with this is just it's a change that I don't think is necessary. When I, 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 I liked waking up on Friday mornings or Tuesday mornings, having some sort of content excitement. Now, if they do this every single day, right? Every single day we get content, then I guess it's not the worst thing. Because then for my schedule, I'll know whether we're going to get content at a future date or not. I can plan my day a little bit better because before I'd wake up, wait till about 9.30 to see if we'd get content. If we'd get content, then I'd you know, obviously record those videos. If not, then I had to push my schedule back a little bit. It's just, it's weird for me if if we don't get content till 4 Eastern time because it's then it's like, okay, what videos am I going to, for my personal uh, kind of YouTube, what videos am I going to do before that? Am I just going to wait for content? It just kind of puts, I feel like content creators in a, in a, tougher position to try to get you guys content because by the time the 10 the, the, that they're released at 11 eastern time normally i was able to get you know six game plays out let's say by by four eastern time and you guys could you know see who you wanted to pick up or not now i feel like it's just changing all the way around if that is the case and i i don't know i'm personally not the biggest fan of it but i will say i will say if this is just if the, the pack drop time is a w for people in school I just don't know if, if that's the case, though. I, I don't know if that's the case, if it's a W for people in school. Because, okay, let's say people in school. What are they going to do? Come home and rip packs? People in school used to be able to come home and buy players off the auction house. 
Now they're going to come home. The servers are going to not be working, first of all. Second off, they're not going to be able to buy the players they want off the auction house, probably the expensive ones, because they're going to be up for a bid. Third of all, it's I, I just don't, I'm not a fan of it. I'm, I'm just, I'm not. And you guys can maybe disagree. You guys might like this if you have to work, whatever. And even if I had school, I don't know if I would like this or not. I probably would just because if I was at school, I feel like I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be right there at that specific time. So I get what people are saying by that. I just don't know. I have mixed, I have, I have very, very mixed feelings about this. I will say this. I will say this. If this year 2K wants to do certain things like the primetime packs at a different time than normal content, I'm okay with that. Like, let's say, let's say we got something like, I don't know, primetime's a good one, or, or let's say they want to drop like something at a specific time later on in the night, like a night drop sometimes. Like we saw that, I think, for a Halloween promo when they dropped it like in the middle of the night, whatever. I'm fine and okay with that, but I think traditionally for normal content drops, the as you guys can see, 10 a.m. Central Time is solid. Now, again, I get it. People play this game from all over the globe, so it's not like a certain content drop uh, time is going to be better than others. It's not re really what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is it's been 10 a.m. for the, as long as I can remember, at least the last two years. I want to say the last three years, it's been 10 a.m. right in the morning. You just get it at done, you get it over with, and people get excitement throughout that Friday or Tuesday, whenever their content drop is. It's just for me, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad for the community. This could be a big, big success for the community. It could be. Ultimately, this could be a big success for the community. And if it is, then I'm, I'm a fan of it. But I I, I don't know. I'm, I'm unsure about this. I'm hoping the primetime name of this is the reason that it is dropping at 4 p.m. instead of 11 a.m. usually. I'm hoping that's the case. Because remember, there's people from all over. It's not just that this affects the U.S. It affects people in different countries. And again, for me, it's like in specific, I'm at, I'm I'm an hour behind Eastern time. So instead of it being 10 a.m., it's going to be 3 p.m. If that's what happens, like today, let's say 3 p.m. I'm going to have to see what's in packs. Going to make I have, I have to make a worth it video, which I like. I like making videos, so I'm going to make a worth it video. Going to have to drop at least three or four gameplays. But then by that time, it's going to be six, seven, eight o'clock, and it's like, what can I get done in that time span that you guys want to see? So I feel like for me and, and some other content creators, it might put us in a tougher position just as far as, you know, we're now behind the clock on the new content that we're trying to get ahead of the game on. And it, it, it just might be tougher for us. But I don't know. I, I Again, I'm looking at it from a different perspective than a lot of you guys are. So I want to know for those of you who do go to school or for those of you who do work, okay, are you guys a fan of if this changes or do you guys want to see it go back to the old way? That's kind of what I, I want to see because similar to the triple threat video, I didn't agree with the most of you guys, but you guys spoke out and I, I might be in the, you know, not, I'm not in the majority for the triple threat online, uh, the 100 thing. So I want to know if I'm in the majority here and wanting to keep the packs the same. I don't, I don't feel the need to change this. But if they do, hey man, it is what it is. I do like the promo to it. So shout out to 2K for, for, you know, letting us know that there is content coming at a specific time. So we know what's going on. But again, I feel like the, hopefully it's just a prime time thing, prime time. And hopefully that's why it's at a later time. That's the only thing I can think of. It is the first content drop. So we'll see what this means for the rest of the game. I'm praying that the time does not change for the rest of 2K. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Are you guys a fan of the time change or not? Let me know that. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.